check out some sparrows in there. Try to take them out with the pistol. All right, so this is the pistol I bought. It's a Crossman 1377. It's just a little 177 caliber pump pellet pistol. And clearly iron sights aren't gonna be able to work for hunting, at least not that well, because I missed the sparrow I shot at. It was only like 10 yards away. So I bought this. This is a Picatinny rail mount that goes on this gun. So I'm gonna put this on the pistol so I'm able to attach a scope to it. And we'll see if we can get this thing shooting like a tack driver. So I got the scope on the pistol and it's like longer than the actual pistol. It's crazy. I think I got it pretty much dialed in. So I'll show you guys through the scope cam real quick of what it looks like. I'm only shooting about 10 yards away right now at some wood. So pump this up to 10 really quick and take the shot. That dot right where my crosshairs are where I shot, I'm gonna try to hit that spot. Oh yeah, that's a dead squirrel right there. This should be able to do the job on squirrels and rabbits, so let's go in the woods and go hunting with it. So it's the next day, I got the pistol with me and I'm in the woods right now. I'm gonna try to stay within 20 yards on these squirrels. So I just heard a squirrel over there somewhere. We're gonna try to get a little closer and try to take him out with the pistol. Okay, I just seen a squirrel go in that hole right up there in that tree. I'm gonna get a little bit closer, sit down on the ground, maybe right there, see if he comes back out and I'll take the shot. to reload real quick he stopped there it's so hard to hit things with this pistol the trigger's so bad on this that i just pull the shot every time it seems like that squirrel went back in the hole it's only about a 10 yard shot the squirrel's sitting right up there i'm gonna try to get a little closer and take the shot I sighted the sin right before I came to the woods and it was dead on so I don't know how I'm missing all these shots. I'm gonna take a shot at a tree and see if it's going completely off the crosshairs. Okay, I don't even know where that went. All right, I got this thing dialed in now. If I have a good rest, I shouldn't have any excuse for a miss except this trigger because I still pull the shots really easy. So I'm gonna take a little break from walking. I'm sitting down right now about 10 yards away from the tree over there. Or here, I'll just show you it real quick. So there's the tree I'm watching right there. There's a hole right there. There's a hole right there. I'm not having any luck with just walking around and finding squirrels. I'm just gonna sit here for like half an hour if that's how long it takes because I probably have better luck if I just stay in one spot instead of walking around and spooking all the squirrels. So I'm just gonna sit right here till that one comes out and we're gonna get them this time. We have to get a squirrel with this pistol. But yeah, we're gonna get a squirrel with it today. Hopefully he comes out here in a little bit. There he is, he's coming back out. Oh, there he goes. I should have taken this shot right here, but I didn't want to risk hitting him in the lungs and the squirrel being able to get back into his hole and escaping. So I decided to pass up this shot, hoping his whole body would come out of the hole so he'd be able to fall to the ground after being hit. So he ends up going back into his hole and I'm not able to get a shot. So I wait about 20 more minutes and then he comes back out. I need him to come out a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Got him, I got him. Yes! We got the squirrel! Okay, good. I was recording on the scope cam. Finally, a squirrel with the pellet pistol! Oh my goodness, I was waiting here for at least half an hour for him to come back out. Oh my goodness, finally, and he dropped too. Go ahead and pump this thing up just to make sure. Man, I was starting to think I was never going to get a squirrel today. Cause this, that took way longer than I thought it would. Okay, let's go get this thing. Well, there he is laying right down there. I'm guessing it was a spine shot, neck shot maybe. Nice looking red squirrel. Looks like it entered right by his ear. It did exit. I'm pretty sure it exited right there. I'm surprised because this little, little 177 had enough power to go through his head. All 
All right, so here's what just happened. I was looking for a rabbit. I spotted one in the brush. I took a shot at it. I missed it. I took a second shot. I shot my finger. <laughs> yeah, it's bleeding all over the place. It didn't really hurt that bad, surprisingly, but I kind of hit the side of my finger. The rabbit went over here. I don't want to give up yet, though. I want to keep hunting this rabbit. Yeah, it's bleeding all over the place, so whatever. I think there was actually two rabbits, because when I was following that other one, I think I spooked a different one out. Oh, man. Well, that sucks. All right, I'm gonna go home and put a band-aid on this. We'll come back out and try to get some more squirrels or rabbits. Yeah, thankfully it didn't go deeper and hit the bone in my finger. So a band-aid should be fine. All right, I'm back. I got the pistol right here. We're going after mainly rabbits right now. You can see we're in some pretty good rabbit territory right here. One just ran out of here. There's he was, he was sitting right down in there. He ran out and went over there. Let's go walk in this spot really quick. Give that rabbit some time to settle down. And if there's nothing in there, we'll go over there and try to find him. Oh, the rabbit just ran down there. No way we're getting that rabbit now. There's a rabbit in that bush right now. I spooked him from over there. Where's that other one, Rena? He went way over there, that one. There's another one over there. He came back to where I started. And now he's right there. He's gonna spook easy now, though. All right, the rabbit's not in there. I'm guessing he's either in that bush or he went back to where I spooked him the first time. Let's go check up in this spot first. He's going back down to where I, where I first spooked him. I just saw him run into that big briar bush. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this rabbit. That thing almost ran right to the camera. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously shaking right now. I cannot believe I just got a rabbit with the pellet pistol. Oh my goodness. I spooked a rabbit out of here in my last video and I think this might be the same one. He's hiding in the exact same spot I spooked him out last time. I cannot believe I headshot that thing. It was like not even 10 yards. Oh, wow. That had to be a perfect shot too because I could barely see the top of his head. And right there is where he took the shot. Absolutely perfect shot placement on a rabbit. The pellet did not exit, I think, which is what I expected even on that little red squirrel. That's a nice rabbit too. About the same size as the pistol. So I already got a squirrel and a rabbit with the pistol. I want to try to get a sparrow now. So there's some sparrows right up there you can see and they always land in these bushes right here. We'll try to get shots on them up there. That's a pretty far shot. So in that barn is where I started the video. There's a bunch of pallets in there and the sparrows go all over in them. I'm gonna sneak over there and try to take a shot with the pistol. There's a bunch in there right now. Got him. I think I got him. I'm not 100% sure if that was a kill shot, but I'm pretty sure I did hit that sparrow. Oh, I see him. I see his head. Boom, a sparrow with the pellet, pellet pistol. If you know when the trigger's gonna break on that and you can hold it steady enough, this thing is a tack driver 10 yards. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you like the scope cam videos.